What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today we're talking about points. With so many points in the game and a new currency system coming with its own point system, I figured it'd be fitting to teach you guys what exactly to do with all your points when you get them. Glory, guild points, you know, all that jazz, what to spend them on, how to spend them based on where you're at in the game. We're going to include all stuff, all types of things like that in this video to help you guys make more educated decisions as to what to buy. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about guilds. So when you guys get into guilds, obviously as you participate in guild battle, you get guild points. There's a variety of ways that you guys will get guild points as you move through the game. Um, however, this is not a how to get guild points video. This is a how to spend guild points video. <laughs> All right, so uh, when you get into the guild ship, you're gonna be overwhelmed with options. Um, you know, especially as new players when you're just trying to catch them all, the tendency is to summon, or excuse me, buy summoning scrolls as soon as possible. Um, in terms of priority, there are there is a particular order that you're going to want to pay attention to depending on if your guild is competitive or not. Now, what I mean by competitive or not is, is your guild the type of guild that really cares about guild battle, that is... is competing to be uh, you know the top one of the top guilds on the server or is your guild just casual and they're just getting going in there for the points to use for you know whatever now based on those two scenarios will determine what your spending order is so we're gonna talk about the non-competitive um, spending order first so if you're not competitive and you're just there for the hell of it the first thing you're gonna want to do is to make sure that you get your rainbow mine every single week that's gonna be your first purchase every single week bar none um, after that then you're going to need to decide whether or not you want an Afrit or a cowgirl okay and that's pretty much going to be the next step if you're non-competitive and then most likely you'll choose an Afrit so have fun with that and then these if you need fodder materials definitely get them but if you're going to buy the fodder materials please make sure that you wait until you have the total points before you spend them you don't want to be spending points 200 points at a time only to get to 600 points or 75 percent of the way just to pull the very unit that you were saving points for which is annoying right so make sure you save the full 800 points and then just buy the unit right away because that way it'll give you more time to effectively pull the unit maybe from an unknown scroll or a mystical scroll or whatever um and then that'll make that easier for you after that um after you've honed in on those two things it's pretty much free reign from there um you can do summoning stones legendary scroll pieces i mean pretty much whatever you want in terms of non-competitive guild play now if your your guild is competitive there are a couple of things that are going to change the Rainbow Mine is still going to be a priority for you, um, followed by obviously whether or not you want a free or not. But immediate priority is is literally going to be uh, Rainbow Mine and Guild Battle flags. Um, these flag stats do stack with the regular arena points, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But the regular regular arena point buildings. Um, so these flag will flag a battle that increase your stats, you know, in guild battle only will stack on top of um, the the overall general stat boost. So if your guild is looking to be competitive, um, that is definitely going to be a tremendous, tremendous uh, investment that you guys need to really look at if you guys want to be effective in guild battle. So that's how to spend those points. And as I was saying, um, there was a big leak. Uh, you know with a lot of content coming like some purple flags and some, some new types of currency uh, So even more stuff for us to spend our monies aka crystals on and and energy and all that other jazz So in order to prep you guys for that I wanted to uh, give an updated video of kind of like what to spend these points on so next we're going to talk about guild uh, or excuse me arena points there are a lot of different takes on what to spend your arena points on so when you go into the shop here uh, you go to your glory shop this is where you get glory points okay glory points any kind of arena obviously doing your uh, your daily your challengers or whatever those guys are called in the arena you get points okay as you accumulate points certain things will become available in the week so we're going to talk about prioritizing this because no matter what whether you think you are or you aren't you're a competitive arena player period i mean it's the sky arena that's what the game is called whether you're just farming or not farming you are still competitive in the arena so, first thing you're going to look at when you guys get your points every week is your Devilmon. Um, I personally, on my Devilmon, I like to save them up until I have like five or six or seven of them, maybe more, sometimes less. 
but I saved them up just so before I use them, like I know exactly who I'm gonna use them on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes what happens is you got one devil mind, you're like, oh, well, for me personally, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna use one over here. Oh, I'm gonna use one over here. I'm gonna use one over here. So I just save them all up and then use them all at one time. <laughs> Uh, just so, to give me a little bit more uh, cushion to kind of uh, think of strategically who I'm going to place my double mon on. Does that make sense? But double mon is going to be one, one of the priorities. Now, what, this is the thing. So if you guys are doing competitive arena, because all of you are, 100% of you, um, I don't recommend buying any of these scrolls at all. Like, honestly, I feel like uh, the biggest waste of glory points, especially when there's so much, to, um, so much opportunity to gain uh, using your glory points, Scrolls in the glory shop are a waste of resources, and if you're buying them, you should stop right now. On my first account, uh, I think the first six months I was playing, I was buying all kinds of scrolls, man. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know that the buildings were that important, but yeah. <laughs> so, I did only to find out that I was wasting thousands of points that I could have been investing back into myself. Um, yeah, and it would have been better. So. Uh, for beginner players, you're going to want to start to get your Devil Mon every week. Uh, Angel Mon, don't worry about your Sanctum of Energy and your Mysterious Plant. Um, I People ask me about this all the time. Like, TMG, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you have AD Energy? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and my response to that is, it's just not a priority for me. However, how hypocritical of me that I'm about to be is I'm going to tell you guys that as beginning players, these build, buildings are relatively cheap in terms of glory points, and they and over time they become obviously more effective. So with these two buildings, they increase the rate that your energy returns, and they also um, increase your maximum energy capacity. Uh, somebody told me one time a long time ago, um, well, back when I still didn't care about the mysterious planet <laughs> and the sanctum of energy, um, my first account because I was at like seventy four or seventy six, I can't remember. Um, or maybe it was 72. I, man, I don't know. But uh, it's like a total of a, a extra 84 or 89 energy a day uh, if you guys max those plants out. So that's basically 10 extra runs a day over 365 days in a year. I mean, you guys do the math, right? It adds up, okay? So it's that many more runes, etc., etc. So now as I'm talking about this, I'm like slapping myself in the face like, Tim G, why didn't you upgrade? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now the thing that everybody talks about that a lot of people have confusion on is the arena buildings. Which buildings do you buy first? Which ones do you max first? And which ones um, are most important to you? Well, the real answer is all of them. Okay, um, if I was to recommend a particular order, I'd recommend doing your speed, HP, and defense towers first, or excuse me, speed, HP, def, and attack towers first, because those are your primary stats. Okay. Everything else is specialized. So, speed, HP, def, um, and attack. Obviously, general. Those are pretty much the most expensive. Um, and then everything else is just you know element based. Um, it's it takes a ridiculous amount of points to max your towers. So, what I recommend, guys, is right after you get your devilmon, or you know, yeah. So right after you get your devilmon, and you get your your sanctum of energy and your stuff done. Um, pick a tower, stick to it, and build it. Or you can do multiple towers at a time, so you can get, you know, small boosts, like small general boosts over time. You could do either one, but either way it's going to work. But in the arena, all of these ta all of these stats, obviously minus the arcane tower, <laughs> apply all of the time. So when you're, you're in uh, dragons, giants, whatever, these stat increases are global. They're, so they, they use, they're used everywhere. So if you need more damage on your team, upgrade some towers. If you need more speed, upgrade some towers. If you need more this, more that. Uh, these are like the little things in the game most people overlook that can be very, very, very beneficial to them. So that's all I wanted to cover today, guys, um, in terms of points and you know how to spend them, especially in preparation for the new uh, point system that is coming. Um, so for the world arena and all that jazz is what I'm assuming they're for. Um, obviously, we won't know until it arrives, but... Just be on the lookout for that and make sure you guys start getting your stuff in order so you guys can be in the best position possible to be ready to receive the new stuff that's coming. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your Motivational Gamer, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.